We're here at Highland Hill Farm and this is my wife Marge. This is a six foot stake. This is what we're going to use to create a property line of Leland cypresses. These are our four to five foot Leland cypresses. And what we're going to do is show you how to, 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 to make a hedgerow with these Leland cypresses and space them properly to get a good windbreak. Now they can be spaced from six to twelve feet apart. We're going to just give a little demonstration here of how we set up a six foot spacing. First of all, we've taken some stakes and put them in the ground where we want to have the trees. You're going to usually put this tree about five feet away from a property line or, or some obstacle like a driveway or think something like that where you want to have your wind break and hedge. You put two stakes in the ground and you put a string down in between the two stakes. Then you can use other things like flags or stakes or things like that to mark where you're going to put the trees. What we do is we use a six foot post here. She sets the post down on the ground at the beginning. She sprays that. That's her first one. And sprays the next one. Sprays right on the dead center of the line. Okay. Now when you dig, you'll be able to just dig a hole first using that center space. Dig a hole right around the hole where the, where the white paint is. Okay, now what we do is we take this string away. and place the trees where we're going to have them. These are very fast growing. These are on sale to the end of this month. And that's about what the spacing will look like at six foot. And as you can see, there's gaps there. The gaps are there because the tree needs space to grow. Now you can mulch down along that line, or if you want to get better fill, you can create a second row by taking one tree and doing another line and staggering it so that the trees are about six foot apart. And then you'll have an even tighter packing when you visually look at the trees. This gives you enough room to mow up and down the strips and yet enough room for the tree to continue to grow. And uh, these trees grow very fast, up to three feet a year. We have tens of thousands of them here, here at Highland Hill Farm. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are our 10 to 12 foot green giant, and as you can see, they're fairly tall and full all the way up. We have more over there, but this is about what they look like. And a lot of people have the green giants this height, and I'll show you another way they're grown. These are trimmed hard, so they're fuller up at the higher elevation. We have more over here. Again, these are the trimmed ones. 10 to 12 foot high. 
but there's a lot of them out there that are thinner at the tops that are sold. And that's like this. You can see how this one is a little bit thinner and these are a little bit thinner. So you could take your choice. Take it back over here. Set you these again. These are a little bit thinner. Some of these are a little thicker and fuller at the base. Okay, these are the these are 10 to 12. We have this one here, which is going to be thinner at the top, and this one here which is going to be fuller at the top. This has been trimmed harder. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. These have about a 32 or 28 inch to 30 inch basket on them. These are a pretty good idea of what we have here. And they're, they're quite large. Again, there's, there's sort of what they look like when they're in a row. Thank you. Bye. These are our five to six foot Norway spruces that we just dug. These are ready for delivery. Some of them are still tied up. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. As you can see down over by the greenhouse, we have more of them ready to go. And out in the fields, we have a lot more. More arborvitas ready to go. We deliver plant and mulch these all over the East Coast. All over the East Coast. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. And over here we have some, some junipers and arborvitas. That's a Procumzins nana and emerald green arborvitas. And over in this corner right over here, those are boxwoods, hemlocks, and more spruces and hemlocks.